Hey everybody, it is time once again for The Mythwits, the show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity and coated with sarcasm. Every week we bring on an industry guest, except this week, uh, we're to talk about the ever-expanding Geekoverse. Uh, we do our damage to be funny, but there are no guarantees. I am your host, Peter Bryant, and joining me this week is Michael Kafis. Is this thing on? Hey, it's a good thing that you were just said right before the show that, like, you you go you know everything that's going to go wrong before it goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, not everything is going to go wrong, but I've gotten pretty good at figuring out when something goes wrong, what the hell's wrong by just looking at stuff and going, oh, okay, I got it, I got it, I can fix it in a few seconds. I just assume that it's going to go wrong if I try and figure out what it is that's going wrong. It's going to get worse because. <laughs> Like, you know, for instance, you know, two minutes before the show, one of my monitors decides to go click, 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 click. Like, oh, okay. Uh, let, me, let me go check and see if it's plugged in or not. Right. Uh, all right. Whatever I do, don't touch the power strip that has everything plugged into it, including the router. Just just don't do that, Mike. Can you, can you manage to do that? No. Not so much, no. Not so much. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're like a few minutes late because I'm like, all right, here we go. We're going to get ready to, and then Mike goes, bionk. <laughs> I'm like, where'd you go? Where, where and, you then, go? and then Pete goes, okay, and here we go. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I swear, I swear I had it fixed. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> all right, everybody. Uh, so so this this week we uh, we don't have a guest on because we want to talk about, we want to talk about the guests that are coming. Uh, you know, we... Every once in a while, we, we like to do like sort of a state of the union address of where we are and stuff. And um, uh, we got some good guests coming up. We got a bunch of events coming up. Um, so I, I just I thought it'd be good if we we spent some time talking about that. Plus, uh, we want to poll you guys. Poll, we're going to poll you uh, <laughs> for some information. It's like Pete, an interrogation. Let's, what? Let's just out it. All right. With the government shutdown, we couldn't get a guest. OK. Right. <laughs> So they're, they're, they're all... lucky they're getting they're lucky they're getting a uh, <laughs> we're doing it we're we're doing our state of the union uh, from right. our perspective uh, square offices yes right 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 <laughs> um, Nancy Pelosi could not make it uh, so yeah <laughs> anyway um, she was busy and, not going to Afghanistan right and then we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a little <laughs> bit of uh, ask us anything. Um, and yeah, yeah, from that show, this. from that show that we did from then, uh, which was approximately uh, episode, or season five, episode 17, uh, we also had a lot of stories. So I linked, I don't know if you saw in our show description, I linked that if you wanted to pull it up at some point. Um, there's just a bunch of little other stories if we get uh, <clears throat> hard up for, uh, you know, killing time, which I, I doubt we will. I, I doubt because once you and I get rolling, that that's it. It's uh, right. There's no stopping this. So let's get rolling. So, so uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you have been doing more booking. Uh, yeah. I'm going to out myself now. You know, <clears throat> you've been doing more booking than me. I do have some things in, in the works, some emails going out. But uh, you have some emails going out. You have some stuff booked um, in the coming weeks. What do you got? What do you got for us? All right. So uh, if you all are just hearing us for the first time this year, if you missed episode one, which which kicked off because uh, we, we haven't done. That's one of the things Mike and I are working on is doing better promotions. Uh, we've we got some stuff we're working on to make ourselves better at you letting everybody know what's going on. Um, but at any rate, so we had Mark Chris on last week and he was awesome, as I expected. Uh, so, you know, check out that episode if you haven't. So what we but what we have coming up? Um, do you want to talk about who we have coming up or where we're going? Because I, I kind of broke those into two different groups. Well, first I just want to say hi to Scott Pond, and I love his uh, picture of his yes. uh, profile pic because it's just Deadpool. So first right. of all, hi Scott, I love you, little jelly. Uh, second of all, um, let's let's go topic wise first, I guess. Like places we're going. Yeah, places we're going. All right. All right, fantastic. All right, and John Walker's in the room too. Hi, John Walker. We got two superheroes. So John Walker and Will Conway. Up, oh, that makes three. So the people watching, except for your mom, your mom's watching too. Uh, and Jen, uh, is Jenny? No, okay. Right, so John Walker's got Captain America. Uh, Scott Pond's got Deadpool. 
Uh, and Will Conway has the Avengers symbol. So he's, I guess he's all the Avengers. He's, he's, he's all huh. well, I, didn't, uh, I didn't know we were supposed to do that. I didn't get a memo. Did you get a memo? No, no, no. So okay. um, then there'd be two Deadpools in the room, Mike, if we were on there as well. But, oh, damn. So, so conventions we're going to. We're going to, we're going to go to Total Con first. That's coming up in a couple weeks. Um, and we're going to I'm see kind of Scott getting, and getting psyched. There. Kind of yeah. getting psyched. You're going to put me to work, right? Yeah. I got shit for you to do. All right, all right. We're doing a lot of recording. So we've got, uh, I reached out to a couple of GM friends, um, and we've got some special stuff happening just kind of, some of it's a little bit kind of just for us. Like um, Andrew Krupa is going to run a game school event. Well, that's not, I don't say just for us. When I, when I say just for us, I mean TSR Podcast Network. So yeah. he's going to be running a, a game school uh, on Wednesday night for, for us. Um, we're going to record that and with cameras and all the, set up mm-hmm. um then we have uh a dark phoenix is going to run an event for the myth wits it's going to be a, mm-hmm. a fiasco a dirty fiasco game which should be fantastic so so <laughs> you're saying dirty fiasco like that's kind of uh uh what do you call it Re- um oh jesus um what do they say usually like when you're um Literal and figurative, figuratively and literally, yeah, uh, yeah. Because it's it, it's dirty. the game fiasco, and it's going to be dirty, but it's also going to be a dirty fiasco. The whole thing, so, okay, and a hot mess. Yeah. Oh, and, and Tori, Tori is in the Hulkbuster Iron Man. So, damn it's it, all superheroes in a room. Yeah, I yeah, want to be a superhero. <laughs> you are, man. You are a mythwit. You are a super oh, zero. God. Oh my God. Can you? <laughs> somebody. All right, Scott. You, Scott. Draw Pete and I as like superheroes, but mythwits. That'd be awesome, man. I w- Hey, we could pick. You want to be a uh, masturbation man? No, no, no. <laughs> um, no, I want to be scatterpertation. Scatterpertation man. Okay. All right. Well, I definitely want to be the, the. I don't know what his name is. I got to come up with a name for him. But uh, the guy with epilep ep- epilepathy. Oh God. <laughs> No, why? Are we... all right, all right, all right, all right, why stop. did we just do this? I don't know. All right, stop. <clears throat> Keep going. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go to Total Con. There's gonna be all kinds of good stuff there. We're gonna broadcast live from there. I'm gonna launch uh, Cuba Death from there. Uh, Tori all... is gonna be there for the first time. Scutori, That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, yeah, I can't fantastic. wait to hang out with those guys again. And uh, then we're gonna have. Um... Oh, man, we're gonna have uh, so many events. The whole weekend's so packed, and I'm be I'm gonna be recording everything. Um, and I figured, hey, Mike, I figured out how to check this out. So when I sit at the table, pull up the laptop, right? Mm-hmm. I can hook up multiple webcams through OBS and mm-hmm. switch. Each cam is a scene and I could switch through them. So when somebody starts talking, like it's, you know, the game master says, Hey Pete, what are you going to do? Blah, 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 blah. Then you'd point the camera at Pete and I'd switch to that scene. And then I'm going to mic everybody using my H6. It's going to be awesome. Like professional camera switching, live mm-hmm. editing. It's going to be badass. I, lo- I love your enthusiasm, man. I, no, I set I, it up. I worked it. No, I no, did it. No, listen, listen. I love it. I love it. I can't. When I say I can't wait, I can't wait for two things. Yeah. I can't wait for <laughs> the <Fucking> that. <laughs> I just. I mean, I, I. God, I want it to work so bad, buddy. <laughs> I do. I want it to work so bad. I, I mean, I have never wanted things to go so more smoothly, but. I just, I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid it's going to be, it's going to be the power cord all over again. <laughs> Motherfucker. All right, anyway, uh, so we're going to go to Total Con. It's going to be a good time. We're going to be hanging out. Lots of pictures. going to be lots of fun. A bunch of friends are going to be there. It's going to be fantastic. Then, of course, a couple months later, we go to Balticon and uh, we'll be doing Mythwits there. Thank you, John Walker, you magnificent bastard. He's, you know, he's, he's hooking us up with uh, a room every night. Um, which is good. I mean, we fill that room up every night. The one night, I think, was it last year? The one night, it was people couldn't get in. Like, it was literally standing room only, and then there were people who couldn't fit in the room. Catherine Asario and- had something to do with that, I'd like no, to think. But yes. No, 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 no. This was our first night. Really? This was just us, buddy. Yeah. It was really? pretty awesome. Yeah, well, yeah. all right. Peter. Yes. First of all, uh, I, I I'm, I'm trying to get uh, into the chat room to 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 yell, but uh, Tori, yes, you can photobomb us all you want. Um, oh. So, uh, can we can we kind of? I mean, you and I talked about this. I, I I proposed this. You said that you were pretty on board with it. Do you, do you think it's time? I mean, Balticon. We're going to talk about it more. 
but uh, my little idea that I had, and I, I, I guarantee you we're going to work with the details. When I think when we put this out there, we'll have plenty of people that are actually willing to help us oh, make oh, this the, happen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah a little, yeah, uh, yeah. little, little, all right, little so, challenge. Uh, yeah, so I personally am a huge fan of um, Hot Ones, you know, the Chris Evans show on um, – uh, Sean Evans, I'm sorry, God, geez. Sean Evans on uh, the YouTubes, and uh, I cannot uh, stop. Well, I mean, I've I'm all caught up on all the episodes up to season uh, eight now. And Dude, the Kevin uh, Hart one, get the fuck out! That was funny. Yeah, yeah, oh, Kevin yeah. Hart one was great. Yeah. Uh, and Gordon Ramsay is going to be in the season opener. Uh, you know what? It might be tonight or tomorrow. As a matter yeah, of fact, Alton Brown was really good on that. That he yeah, can Alton eat Brown, all kinds of hot food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love the show. And I, I, there was a period of time Pete knows that I was, I could eat some hot food. I could really eat a lot of hot food and Pete was too, but Pete went through a period of time when he had a little, little issue. I don't, I don't know exactly what it was or I don't know if you want to put it out there. It was some sort of a health no, issue. It's, it really... it's a, it's an autoimmune disorder, much like it's very similar to uh, psoriasis, but it forms in the inside of my mouth. So uh, every uh, every 10 years or so, I go through this flare-up where my nerves all flare-up inside my mouth and I can't eat anything hot. Like, black pepper at its peak is too hot. Like, if right. I put black pepper on something, it'll burn my tongue. Now, and, and I certainly don't want to, you know, do anything that mean to you, mm -hmm. you know, like making you put a bunch of, <clears throat> you know, candies in your mouth shaped like certain <laughs> things. <laughs> right. That said... um, you know, if you were up with it, you said you were, that I thought that we might want to, at Balticon, do the hot wing challenge. Yeah. Uh, and and I, through the next couple of months, I'm going to try and order the exact one. So we are going to do the hot ones lineup. Oh. We're going to do the 10 wings, and we are going to get to all of them. Yes, oh. we actually have to do the bomb. I'm not going to be able to do that, man. That's too hot. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you backing out now? When I said the wing challenge, what did you think I was going to say? Like, eh, you know, we'll start out with a little bit of Tabasco and end up with some Sriracha to maybe round it out with like. Uh... No, I just didn't know it was going to be the actual, their actual. I, I'm Look, I'm game. I'm game. I'll still, you know, I can still try to beat all your these, ass. All, all I got to do is beat. Hey, all I got to do is beat you. You know what? You can think of it like that. I prefer to think of it as. We're going to do this together and we're going to help each other get through this. You know, oh, maybe right. we pick someone like we're the ones who are, are doing this together and someone else has got to talk us to it. Hey, maybe it's someone else who wants to try and go through yeah. it as oh, well. I wonder if Charlie Brown would be a good one. Oh, yeah. That hot food eating mother skitcher. Someone get him. He eats anything, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jenny says, don't be a pussy. Pete. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Look, dude. I'm just saying that the bomb is anyway. All right, we're gonna. Hey, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it a go. I, I'm excited for that one. We'll, we'll, but, we'll uh, work out the details whether yeah. it's gonna be us eating them or someone else eating them. I'm game either way. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Oh, we're Let's eating them, motherfucker. We're eating them. So we'll all three be eating them. Yeah. If and someone talking. else wants to do it too, then they can do it. If not, then they can just interview us doing it. Someone else will ask us questions. You know what I mean? Anyone who's maybe savvy with the show and wants to ask us some interesting questions to keep the keep the mood and keep things going. You know what I mean? All right. I think, all right. I, okay. Done. So Let's do that's, it. That's that's put that. All right. Done. Done. All right. We'll put that in the. Yeah. Uh, in, in the to do so that's column. that's Balticon. We'll be doing a show every night. Uh, I think I I I think I asked John for ten o'clock every night. Oh, John Walker says I'll let you both under the table. I think we got someone. John, I mean, if you want to be under the table, that's <laughs> fine. Nice I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Is this, it would be better it, TV if you were above the table. But yeah. what the fuck? We'll do it. We'll take whatever we can get. <laughs> The heat on. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so then, okay. So then, what's the other thing we know we're doing? So we know we're go. Where are we going? We're going down south, right? We are going down south. Uh, yeah. Below the table. Where are we no, going? No, no. no. Uh, after after summer, we're going to go down to Sigler Fest. You call that south? I'm I'm calling that west. It's southwest. It's south. Okay. Dude, it's right. Las Vegas. It's way south of here. I mean, I think it's it's south and west. Great. All right, can we? We're going southwest, folks. Okay. Probably and, gonna go uh, southwest too. Yeah. It's just yeah. there you go. Yep. We're gonna we're gonna go southwest. We're gonna go to Sigler Fest, um, and uh, 
I know um, Scatori is excited. I hope you guys um, don't don't. What did she say? Going down south is that a euphemism? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, no, evidently it just means Sigler Fest to Pete. But uh, yeah. I don't know. That's Do you guys think is Las Vegas west of here or south of here? More, well, is it more west or more south? I don't know. What's it matter? Anyway, we're going at Sigler Fest. It matters because I want to be right and I want you to be and, wrong. That's and we talked, to, we talked to A, and, uh, and and she's like, yeah, if you guys come down, we'll, we'll work you into it. To do, you can let you run some stuff, we'll, a thing or two at least, right? Yeah, she said she's going to um, have us run some Mythwit stuff. And um, I'm sure we'll, we'll, as we get closer and we confirm all that up, we'll, we'll definitely get some, yeah. get some interesting stuff going. Because I know we, like... I just actually uh, primed myself. I listened to the Sigler Fest wrap up from um, um, Sigler Fest twenty two uh, two K eighteen, and um, you know they of all the stuff they did, and you know it's it's a, it's all a big celebration. So uh, hopefully that what we'll, what we can try and do is get ourselves sort of involved as being like, you know, um, just I don't know being semi-involved in the reindeer games as far as you know hey you know well let us uh host this event or something you know what i mean yeah she was i think one of the concerns was and and this is a you know the it's sigler fest so it has to be yeah, sig yeah. everything has to be sigler related but uh when she when she mentioned that we were doing a show about sigler fest and we like we ran i think we ran a game uh that was a sigler game you know it was, it was a sigler trivia game and she's like but i think you guys can handle that so yeah yeah we we can make it all we can make the whole thing all sigler all time mm -hmm. Scott, don't wear pants at Sigler Fest on our account. First of all, okay, you, <laughs> if you don't wear pants at Sigler Fest, Pete won't wear pants at Sigler Fest. That's all I can say. He's he's good uh, on that. You probably want to wear pants anyway. <clears throat> so <laughs> so then all right. So one more one more convention, and this one might be just me. Um, I'm gonna try and go to Game Hocon. I've wanted to go to Game Hocon uh, for yeah. ever, and I'm well. I mean. But I say forever, for last four years, and um, I am I'm I'm uh, I'm dying to go, and I'm gonna try and make it this year. I'm, I'm like giving up on Gary Khan and uh, or Jen Khan, either one of those two. I want to go do that one if at all possible. I, I yeah, it's it's, it's gonna be tight. I, I, I know. I, I hope you I hope you can make it, man. I really do, because I mean, one of us would would do good to go there and. Uh, I, all I know is if I can, you know, I mean, I'm working on scrounging up money. I'm trying to save up money for, um, for Sigler Fest now. You know, it's funny. It's like, I, I feel like for every hundred dollars I put in the bank a month, like, mm -hmm. like 50 to 75 has to come back out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how it works. That's and, how it works. Wait till you get your tax return. It'll be whatever that is <laughs> and more. Oh, well, yeah, we don't, we don't talk about that so, yeah oh, so yeah you're, so, so you're gonna get some money tax time is gonna come around and somehow you're gonna magically get some money from somewhere no that's that doesn't work for me i um oh the reverse okay right. I, well, I i i owe some um some bullies a lot of money okay all right <laughs> all right so then that that's it for where we're planning to go um there, oh, there is one more. Okay, so actually, there is one more thing in, in it, but it's not been firmed up, so I don't even know if I should talk about it. Um, but it's it's. What, what, why don't you word it in in the form of a question? <laughs> we we may be doing something in. Is it Lewis, Delaware? L e w e s. L I think it's Lewis. Lose is lose, lose. Well, I've lose. heard. Okay, so so that's what I thought. I thought it was lose, but then I was talking to somebody else who said, "No, my cousin lives there, and they call it Lewis." So. So the jury's out on what it's called. I don't know, um, but at any rate, there's a, a there's a thing going on there this summer with the, the pu public library there, and uh, there is an interested party in us possibly going there and doing something myth witsy. That will be party, yeah, part baby. Of the, part of the uh, Apollo uh, fifty year reunion. Oh reunion, yeah, sorry. fifty year celebration, fifty year anniversary. So that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Uh, I'm excited to talk to them and see what they say. Cool. All right. And so people we're going to have. So on February 4th, we have uh, we've confirmed Ben Radford um, is going to come on. Mr. Mr. Skeptic himself, Ben Radford. Um, if you're not familiar with him, look him up. He's he does a lot of really good stuff, a lot of debunking of cryptos. That's his favorite thing to de to debunk, like Bigfoots and Chupacabras and such. Oh, I thought like cryptocurrencies. Yeah, no, 
Uh, and then February 18th, Re- Violet Lavoie returns. She's got she's been doing uh, a whole bunch of flash fiction, a whole bunch of uh, dirty fiction. So that should be fun. Uh, flash so fiction is that like you go into a to a credit area and you just start like writing? No, no, no. Oh, a group? well, a group. Uh, no, you go in and you open your coat and you read from your. They read from your naked chest with words on it. I think. Oh, I, no. That means I have to shave my. Yeah, no, anyway. So she's gonna she's gonna uh, talk about some of the flash fiction she's doing. She's got a new novel out that uh, should be releasing about that time. Um, and Mike, I have a copy of that for you to read. So cool. Um, uh, with my eyeballs or my earballs? Yeah, balls? it's got to be eyeballs. Sorry, uh, sorry, bro. Um, <laughs> is anybody interested in reading a book on tape for me? <laughs> so uh, she's gonna come back on. She's always awesome. Um, and then uh, March twenty fifth, we're gonna do the draft. Well, that's a tentative date. It's going to be somewhere around March 25th. Got it depends on what movies are coming out when as to the the actual weekend we pick, but it'll be somewhere in there. So, uh I I know you you may get a little you may get a little pissy at me for for talking about this in school, but do we have any thoughts about who we want to uh invite to the draft this year because I do have someone and they might be in the chat room right now. Well, um, Hold on, hold that thought before you do that. I'm fine with with just about anybody, but we're not doing the the, the teams anymore. That was right. a shit show. I did not like that. The sound quality on that was garbage. So whatever we do, whoever's on it is wearing headphones and they're on a mic. You hear that, Skatori? Headphones and a mic, because <laughs> I want them on. But that's that's a team, right? Are they going to go separate? Well, we'll have to see. Well, we can discuss the fine details. Maybe one of them can represent, or if both of them are both mic'd uh, and independent, sharing a mic, or you know, or, or a headphones. I don't well, know. Well, if they if they get one of those Y jacks for the headphone, so that they each hear in the same thing, yeah. but they have their own headphones yeah. and they share a mic. I'm down with that. But I am not doing any more shows where, I, unless it's like an emergency that they can't use headphones. Yeah. Cause I, it, it kills me. It kills me. Yeah. That echo. Uh, I like, agree. Work, I, no, cause we work really hard on those draft shows. Yeah. I mean, I spend a lot of time working on that show yeah, and then when mm-hmm. the sound quality is garbage, it's just like, Oh, you know, so I just, um, they, if you can work it out, I'm good. That's fair enough. Um, we'll, we'll work out the details. All right. And then April 8th, Ethan Siegel is going to return. So yes. that is fantastic. And I've got, um, I don't have a date yet, but Wolfgang Bauer has agreed to come on. Um, who else? There was someone else who's agreed to come on, but I don't have a confirmed date, which I'm having a hard time remembering it. No, Had Wolfgang Bauer. He 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 like he like rolls dice and stuff, right? He he's, he's like he's a, a dice roller. Oh yeah, yeah. You think so? Yeah, he, I don't he know. called uh, Cobalt Quarterly. He's very big in the D and D world. They they also um, do some D and D stuff. He's he's pretty well known. He's 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 a fairly well known guy. Uh, oh, also got the D and D. There's this place in Frederick, Maryland that does. Uh, they have a bed and breakfast, but it's a D and D B and B. So they yeah. they it's a it's a bed and breakfast, and then but when you go and stay, they they have a game master that will run games for you. So I want to have them on and talk to them. They've agreed to come on, but I don't. Again, I don't have a date for them yet. Hey, can we go back and eat at the D and D cafe? We're doing that because we're gonna have a car. We're driving this time, so we're gonna go to the D and D cafe, and I think we should broadcast from there because it's D and D. It's the D and D cafe. You gotta do it right. Plus, yeah. they all look at us weird because it, <laughs> the cafe is like this old greasy spoon, like. And there's all these old people there drinking their coffee and eating their breakfast, and it's yeah. <laughs> they be like, "What the fuck is this?" It'd be awesome. Yes. Yes. All right. Sounds good. Okay. So that's what we got coming up that we know of so far. And plus, like I said, we have. Um... Yeah. Jonathan says the echo was awful in the draft episodes, and he's yeah. absolutely right. So absolutely you're, you're right, Jonathan. Jonathan, and that's why Pete has committed himself. Uh, and when he gets out, uh, we're having better audio. <laughs> yeah. That's all there is to it. Um, uh, yeah, so that that's what we got coming. We, and we got a bunch of other – I got a bunch of invites out that I can't talk about because there's they haven't confirmed or denied. Um, and then Mike has a list that he's going to do, yep. supposed to have done, going to do sometime yeah. soon. I got a couple of things uh, brewing. Um, I'm working on – actually, I'm working on an interesting – episode that was sort of stemmed from a little bit talking to uh 
Dr. Chris Lip last week, but uh, stemmed about the uh, the marijuana and mm -hmm. talking about if it basically the premise is I'm I'm working on is if marijuana is going to be legal. All right. Not a matter of should it be. OK, that's that's not the question. We're just saying, should it be, you know, at, why should I'm saying should it like it being made legal? Should it be um, medical along the medical road or just recreational? You know, I got you. I so. Got you. So uh, and, and there's a lot of implications of, of doing either one. So um, not actually, there's, I think there's more implications of doing one versus the other. So and if, if, you know, what, Mike, and if, if I can, I, I would love I, I'm going to try and work on a guest. Uh, I'm going to try and work on one of the people who have done the studies with psilocybin and Hopkins, because there's mm -hmm. been a lot of like psilocybin, MDA um, uh, <coughs> and uh, K uh, MD, uh, ketamine. M there's been no, ketamine studies, though. No. Okay, well, I don't know about that. Yeah, but makes sense. Um, I would love, I'd love to get one of them on. But um, anyway, so that that's stuff that 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 should be coming up. Um, so let's Mike time wise. Let's let's poll the audience. Let's poll them. We all, all about right. to get polled. All right. Um, let's see where. Oh, is... oh, while you're doing that, Will Smith said, "Are you guys going to do an episode to prep for Endgame?" And I absolutely think we should. Oh yeah, hell yeah, and I think Will will be there, right? Yeah, well, you're invited. We'll do that, and you're invited. I call dibs on that show. I'm producing it. <laughs> okay, you can produce it. I'm fine with that. Um, um, oh, while while I'm doing this, uh, you want to talk a little bit about because I don't know if anyone caught our um, our show over the Christmas break. Okay. All right. Yeah. So finish that. Hurry up. So um, yeah. So we did over the Christmas break. Mike and I got in a discussion. He put up. Uh, you know, he said. Is I know it's a stupid concept, so just bear with me, okay? I know it's a dumb meme thing, but we did it. It's anyway. not stupid, first stop, of all. Stop. Stop. So <laughs> he put up this thing. He says uh, he was watching Die Hard and getting all Die Hardy about it, and said Die Hard's a Christmas movie. <laughs> Fight me, right? So then I'm like, I'm like, he all right. Me. So I fought him, right? Because <laughs> because I had gone through that Die Hard is a Christmas movie fight me phase a couple years ago, and I started digging into it and saw people's arguments and stuff, and I was like, how the fuck could you not think it is? And uh, and I saw a really uh, well thought argument that that sold me on that it isn't. Now Mike and I are not going to fight that here. We don't want you to fight it in the room. There's a whole episode. Watch that episode, and then you can then you can contact us because. Mike and I went an entire episode talking about it. It's already been fought and won. Won, yes. Won. Now, uh, if my... Uh... Over here. <laughs> no, over here. <laughs> Dude, every Bye. time I try and post something in the room, I'm getting a, um, a YouTube alert. Like, oh, God, I hate Windows now. Okay, I am pasting... And uh, posting and pinning. All right. There. So there's a pinned comment just basically saying, we want your feedback. Do you uh, have any topics you would like uh, Pete and I to cover? And would you like us to have, or who would you like to have us on the show? Leave a comment here or email us at mythwits at gmail.com or hit us up on Twitter at mythwits and or instagram at mythwits yes now, um, and we do we do all kinds of we'll we'll even do like conceptual shows like we've we've had shows where we where it's just us talking about our thoughts on i don't know uh the the concept of the soul uh we did that with bruce press uh, at balticon one year um you know and We'll try and interview people, but now, now don't put in there. Yeah, I would love for you guys to interview. Um, I don't know, Chris Pine. Okay. Yeah. So would I. Yeah. So would I. Let's be realistic. <laughs> uh, and if you know anybody, like if you know anybody who would make you think would make a good guest for us, uh, forward them our way. But I can't guarantee we'll interview them because I'm a little picky uh, lately. I've gotten a little more picky about my guests, so. I've had I, people I, send me people, and I'm kind of like, eh, it's not a good fit for us. Not to be insulting. It's it's not a, like they're not good enough. It's not a good fit for us. Yeah, like uh, in that vein, I was looking at uh, Shoe on Head, right? Oh, I'd love to have her on. No, but but if I could get her, do you think that that could possibly be 
not a good fit for us because it gets into some pseudo political slash uh you know sexism that is very touchy and i don't know if we want to do that uh yeah i don't know um yeah we'd have to figure that out because yeah i know her views are a little more extreme than ours are oh um, definitely more th more than me It'd be well, interesting. way more than you way more than I, you i'll be representing the uh <laughs> the offended parties no i'm just kidding won't be like that but uh um yeah be an interesting discussion uh we'll we'll see how that goes right but it would it would have to it would probably have to be something like uh not like not like the the topic so much that she covers but like more along the lines of of stuff around it. anyway I, I we'll have to figure it out we'll have to figure it out you if, know what if she's there, you're right you're right we'd have to make it work it would have there to is be... more important there are more important yeah. pressing issues sure. that we could sure. discuss sure. for instance you know did johnny five in short circuit get his soul when he was shocked by lightning i mean you know that would be very a very pressing topic to discuss sure i mean yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> No, it, it, it just, it would tie into the soul discussion. I have an answer for that. I have like a real, but I'm not going to go into it because that's a whole show. But we could do that. We could do that. Because oh, we'd God, have to throw in I there. I can't believe you're taking this seriously. No, you could. You can answer that. That is a, that's a sci-fi discussable topic. It's very discussable. Because mm. then you could throw in like the symbionts uh, from, or the, the, what, the replicants from Blade Runner, right? Because mm -hmm. they, they fall into that. And then, uh, you know, like like the the replicants in in, in Alien, like Ash, um, the 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 ro the androids that were on the ship. So, sure, we can do that. Indeed, indeed. Um, so let's see. Uh, yes, we got different topics. Um, a lot of interesting. But you know, if any of you guys in, in our uh, loving um, and as we like to call you, any of our um myth fits uh ever come across anything you think would be cool for us to eat whether it was just be talk about um whether it's you know uh cromulent in the geek reverse or if it's just something sciencey you know how we're we're just this uh I, I don't know if anyone's ever heard of this before but i like to call what we do is we sort of are this venn diagram that likes to cover so many different other um areas um including role playing um, geek pop culture and um, you know uh, authoring booking what do they call that with the booking writing. and the, the yes the writing yes, that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the art and yeah. uh, sometimes the talking uh, yeah. not so much but uh, all these different things we like to we like to kind of overlap and have um, interesting discussions and share things that like we find ourselves being a part of all these different worlds. And I think the main purpose, our main goal is to share this world with some of these other worlds that we share and say, hey, look at this. You, you, you might really like this over here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but if you're, this is something in your world as you are a part of ours that you would like us to share with other parts of the world, please let us know as well. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm Oh, I'm working on a guest with Ben Bishop. If he can make that happen, it'll be a super big announcement, but I'm gonna leave it yes. on. I'm excited for that as well. Uh, and and if you, if someone is very interested, if they want to know what that is, go watch oh, an old oh. episode. I know that there was discussion about it in that episode. So but, so Jenny Jenny asked any interest in tattooing, and Jenny, that is one of the guests I got coming up. I forgot to mention I have a confirmed tattoo artist. Is my good buddy uh, Jim Judicus, Jimmy Needles. Who did Saints you know? Sinners. Did you know that her cousin works with Jim? Yeah, really. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Maybe tell What's to, his name? throw his name up there for me, will you? Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, but uh, yeah, that is that is another topic we're doing. Try and get Bill Nye. Come on. Okay, I'll work oh. on it. Sure. <laughs> you know, it's funny. So in researching um, guests to come on the show, I have I, I hadn't realized this, but it totally makes sense. But a lot of these people get paid for their stuff. So Bill Nye probably gets paid to do every appearance that he does. Um, and, but and I'll tell you of, this. Yeah. You want to know how we get people like Bill Nye too? We need your help. Like you guys, every time we have an episode, every time we're on, 
share it with your friends and tell your friends to share it with their friends uh every time we have a show you know i always put the show as a matter of fact i don't think i did it yet i am here i am doing it right now share this episode on my timeline post and if everyone who's in the room right now that six people does that that's six times a number that i'm not sure what it is that it really gets things out there you know what i'm saying yeah yeah, absolutely. Especially if you're like, you know what a good place to share a show is? If you belong to a group that has like one of these like 10, 15,000 members or something crazy like that, and we do a show that is interesting to that group that that group would probably like to see. Like, let's say you're in a gaming group and we had John Wick on uh, or 7C group and we had John Wick on, you know, it might be like, hey, you know, the Mythwits just interviewed this, just interviewed John Wick. You should check it out, Link. Uh, and <laughs> there's like, hey, 10,000 people might come and watch. And if you're a little embarrassed and you don't want to directly be associated with us, just shoot me a line. I'll do the dirty work. I just need to know where to go. <laughs> and uh, she said his name is Norm Wright Jr. Yeah, I don't know Norm. I know a couple people work for him, but I don't. I don't know yeah, everybody. Yeah. I haven't been down there in a while. Um, now, does he I still haven't... have any of his uh, little artsy, cheesy wine uh, art shows and stuff oh, like the, that? The art loop. I don't know if he does yeah. that anymore. Oh, I know okay. he he stopped for a while, but he might be doing it again. I'm I'm not yeah. sure. Cool. So what are you? Oh, you're drinking some water. Sorry. Just water. Just water. My throat's a little, it's really dry. <clears throat> Cheers. Um, it's been fucking colder than shit where we are. I don't know where any of you guys are. A titty bit nipple here. <laughs> God, you walk outside, you're like, I can't move. So cold, you could break the balls off of a brass monkey. You know where that said that that say, uh, saying came from, Pete? No. No. You know what a brass monkey is? It's funky. And it's, it's funky junky. Monkey. However, yeah. a brass monkey is the st- what they call the stack of bowling balls. Mm-hmm. The bowling balls. Listen to me. The stack of. Um, uh, cannonballs on a right. ship, and oh, when okay. the sh- when it got really cold, it would say it's so cold you could break the balls off the oh. brass monkey. Gotcha. So there you go. All right, so so where uh, snow party Libby is, it's one degree, and we're <laughs> we're I can't kids. believe you just entertained him with snow party <laughs> negative twenty six. That's a I, Jay Jay. That one goes out to you, buddy. That, That's for you. That is like an ice party. First of all. I know. I know. Hey. All right, Mike, time. Yes. Um, what else game? are we going to do? Uh, I think it's time for the game. Yeah. Unless, how long is the game? 15 minutes? Yeah, it'll be about 15. All right, we didn't make it to Ask Us Anything, so you know what? We're going to have to do an oh. Ask Us Anything show. Okay, yeah, you know what? That'll we'll be that. one of our Just Us shows. It'll be Ask Us Anything, and I, I've pulled up the old doc. Um, you know what? It'll be better, because I'll go back and watch the adult that old episode and take some notes so that we know exactly what we did and didn't talk about, because I'm looking at our show notes from it, and I'm like, I don't know which ones we X'd off or didn't, but uh, there were a lot of there were a lot of stories, and um, some of them deserve to be told. We have stories, folks. Well, I like to ask us anything mixed with stories, because yeah. that way you tell stories, and then not only does it generate questions, but then you can ask questions in between, so yeah. it's great. Um, oh, and hey, by the way... Um, this one goes out to a buddy of mine, one of my best buddies in the whole world. And oh, he's never, he's, thanks, he's, buddy. He's never going to see this because he's not a tech. He's not. This is not his kind of thing. But my friend Roy Mayberry turns 50 uh, today. Holy shit. Roy is 50? Roy is 50. He and I Happy have been friends for birthday. almost 40 years. Yeah, yeah. You've known Roy probably the longest out of all of them. Everybody, and yeah. I, I want to say you told that story, and if you didn't, you had to have told that story. So go back to the Ask Us Anything from last year. Uh, it was episode, I think I said, what did I say, 17? Uh, and um, yeah. I believe you told that story in the basement? about how you did an X-rated, yeah, movies in the basement. Okay. Uh, no, we so... didn't do X-rated movies in the basement. No, you didn't film we them. Showed, we or showed did them. you? <laughs> I would be really not good. Ooh. Well, you were less hairy back then. So uh... Sixth six grade, so mm. probably not. Yeah. No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Mike. Hey, I hear, there's, I hear there's a game on the horizon. Oh, right. it's a game. It's called What Was That Movie? <laughs> All right. Hold on. Here we go. Ready? I'm going to switch over to you. And here you go. 
Hey, everybody. Welcome. It is game time with the Mythwits. I'm Michael Capus, and I will be your game master. And this week, we'll be playing Who Has the Fresher Tomato? I will give you the names of two actors, and you must tell me which of them has the higher Rotten Tomato percentage or fresher tomato rating mm. on Rotten Tomatoes uh, for their last 10 movies. So that is important you understand that I went and okay. did an average of their last 10 movies. I see. Please keep in mind, Peter, that Rotten Tomatoes, if you were aware of this, uses a binary rating system to grade movies and hence then this what this rating is so in other words uh someone you know one person one critic either gives it a rotten tomato or a fresh tomato and then that's how they get the meter okay see, so okay. they'll okay so i didn't know if you so in other words that. so in other words if i was if if it was me and i was i was watching this movie and i said oh, i'm gonna rate it i'm going to rotten tomatoes it's either thumbs up or thumbs down it's like siskel niebert right red mm -hmm. green Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, so if I were to watch, say, oh, I don't know, what was a movie that's right down the middle? Something that was kind of like, meh. Okay, in my opinion, Black Panther. I'd still give that a thumbs up. That would get a red tomato from me. It's sure. on the fence for me. It's kind of on the fence. Sure, but I would okay. definitely get a red tomato. Yep. So it's, mm -hmm. I'm not giving it a C. I'm giving it a pass fail. Gotcha. I'm in. All right. All right. So when I give you these two people, you should think, all right, this person. And uh, what is and, and you know, Rotten Tomatoes, the, these are the critic scores that that um, generate the tomato scores. So, um, oh, and the other thing is, since you're not we don't have anyone that you're playing against, you are going to be playing not yet with yourself, but playing against yourself. Okay? okay, so what I need you to do is does Pete now Pete in this timeline think that Pete in a later timeline is going to do better or worse than you? Or are you going to do better or worse than them in that timeline? What? So, in other words, are you going to give – what is your over-under? Are you giving yourself better than five? Are you going to do better than six? Oh, okay. Um... I need to know this because I need to post your, your – your, your himself. See, Pete against himself. That's what I, we have in the scores. I got some questions for you Oh, I answer dear. that. No, Here no, no, we no. go. So last ten movies. Last ten doesn't movies. matter what year, right? Like if an actor did a movie in 1970 and the next movie was 1980 and then they did nine more, then that one from the 1970 considerably would conceivably I mean, would be conceivably yes. Conceivably, so if you okay. were to so there's no time along... frame. It's ten movies. Right. Okay. Secondly, are these all top people? Like I'm I'm gonna know all these people. Uh, do you know? Yes, yes, you would. I I would imagine. Yes. Okay. All right. So no, nobody like I mean, fucking obscure. If you don't, or something. then I need to find a new a new host. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. I think. I think I'm gonna get. I've got to, you know, I've been doing the draft and stuff. So rotten tomato, and it doesn't matter how much money the movie made. Like it could be like Correct. Fast and Furious could get like Green Tomato, but still make the most money ever. So right. Yep. Fuck. So we're not worried about money. Hey, remember when you thought, oh, man, I love Rotten Tomatoes. This is a great yeah. game. Yeah. I think yeah, you were right. Uh, six. <laughs> okay, six so you're going for six. Ten. That means you're over. You're under is five. So you are playing against yourself for point six two five points. I hope you're figuring this out. Yes, I am. Okay. Da, da, da. Okay, okay, now. Go point six two five, and um, I know Jenny's like, huh? Yeah, me too, Jenny. Me too. <laughs> there you go. So look, five points. But see, he here's the thing: you are playing. All right. So imagine this. Okay, you are playing against yourself in another timeline. Okay. okay. So the you who is playing further away or further down the timeline has already gotten their points. Okay. You've already earned your 0.625 points in order to give you five points. You now in this timeline have to order five points. It's very simple. The math, the the time space Look, can continuum. We, can we just move on with this fucking game? It all right. works. Yes. Let's let's just do it. Come on. Peter Bryan, your yes. first two actors are Lily Tomlin. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. It's not Lily I don't Tomlin. I know who Lily Tomlin is. <laughs> okay. 
Woody Harrelson. Okay. Woody Harrelson. Or Donald Glover. Are you sh- you, you know who the I Donald know who Glover are. is? No, I know who he is. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep. We were just talking about him tonight. Terry had seen the uh, the the Gambino uh, Childers Gambino video. The yeah, This yeah. Is America for the first time. She was like, "This is really disturbing." I was like, "Yeah, it's kind of the point." Yeah. Um. He's been for doing really? a lot of good stuff, man, and his stuff has all been like kind of critical. I'm gonna say, uh, um, it's not Danny Glover. Stop it. <laughs> no, I get too old for this shit. My brain won't undo it. <laughs> I can't, I can't unfuck it. Uh, Donald. Glover, Donald Glover. I'm going to get Donald Glover. Okay. Uh, you're going for the Donald Glover. So you think Donald Glover has a higher, in his past 10 movies, has a higher tomato rating uh, than Woody Harrelson. And if you did say that, in fact, which you did, you would be correct Mungo. Very nice. good. Nice. Very good. Peter gets a point. All right, so far, the score at the beginning, Pete won himself five. <laughs> or no, I'm sorry, 0. 0.625. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Irish scoring. Himself. All right. <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. All right, that was, uh, that was good. I'm, I'm proud of you because that's, uh, you know, these all, I, I spent a little time. I want you to know I didn't just uh, flip a coin on these. Gotcha. All right, here you go on your next one, okay? Jack Black. Or Chris Pine. Chris Pine. Chris Pine. You're just like without a doubt. You're you're good. You're Chris Pine. You're Jack Black's been doing a lot of stuff, but God, it's all been awful. Um, the only he did do well. I did like okay. I did like the Jumanji. I was really surprised, dude. I was so surprised. I liked the Jumanji movie. I thought it was pretty good. But other than that, I mean, like he did that turd, other that than... awful turd clock in the wall, the house with the clock in the walls. <laughs> you were not a fan. I'm, I'm curious. Anyone in the chat, can you tell us if, if you saw uh, the, the clock in the wall or whatever that, that movie was called? I did not get to see it. So if the you house saw. with the, 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 the porn parody is already out. The house that clocks built no, inside no, a wall. No, no, or... it was about Glory Hole and it was the house with oh, the clock I'm, in the I'm, wall. I'm, I'm... <laughs> Peter, I know. I, 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 when you said porn, I knew where that was going to go. I was, I was steer, I was trying sorry, sorry, to steer the sorry. show around I, it, but you just, you grabbed no, the wheel. Not you Jack grab, Black. Jack Black. Chris Pine. Okay. Chris, oh, no, I'm sorry. Chris Pine. Chris Pine. So if you said Chris Pine, oh, I'm sorry. Um, Daniel, Donald Glover, by the way, sixty nine point five percent on the tomato mm. meter. Woody Harrelson, sixty three point eight. I think this would be important for you to know. So if you can kind of uh, get some ground level detail you know grounding yes. um, numbers right. on there so Come okay on, so jack black on this one jack black you now you say he's doing some shitty things but he's got last 10 movies he's got 72.8 that is yeah. not a bad tomato rating my friend right well. now chris pine as we all know is a prima donna and that really- motherfucker on fire yo Wonder Woman <laughs> and chooses the, his movies, the Star Trek, yeah. and then once he's once he's in, he's like you, and he wants to get paid after that, right. and he don't care because you know he liked the Honey Badger, right. which the Honey Badger has seventy nine percent. Oh yeah, yes, you got it. Yes. Good, yes. good for you. I'm proud of you, buddy. You're doing yeah. good. Yeah. All right, get you one more point there. So, I'm gaining on himself. <laughs> you're you are you're you're right behind himself. <laughs> That's where I like to be. All right. <clears throat> the next one. Oh, and and uh, who was it? Tori. Oh, you can't stand Chris Pine. I like Chris Pine. Um, Jenny. I hate Jack Black. I used to kind of maybe like him a little bit, but uh... anyway, go ahead, Mike. Uh, well, I just had a very interesting thing happen. Mm-hmm. I need to go back in my document. I don't know when this happened. <laughs> I have, uh, this got, this got messed up. That's interesting. 
Uh, wow. How absolutely bizarre. This was not like this two, two minutes ago. Everything has changed from from um, Jack Black to Chris Pine. Every one of my things. Give me give me one second. I, I have no idea how this happened. It's live TV, folks. Oh, my goodness. That is the strangest freaking thing. And I can't undo. So I, I have I, I, I have a little man crush on on Chris Pine. I think he's I think he's a, a good actor. I, I like him and stuff. He was Chris um, Pine. I do too. Yeah. As Captain Kirk, I think he. All right, so I think he did a great job as Captain Kirk. Although I think they they took Captain Kirk and just just went over the top with it. Like it was too Kirky. Um, they they tried to make him into two, like it was like a character of like 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 to imagine making a character of a character that that Bill Shatner played is kind of funny. But to me, it was. They like kind of overdid the kirkiness of him, like especially when he's doing the Kobayashi Maru and he's sitting there eating an apple and he's like, uh, I thought that was a little too much. That's true. Okay, so uh, that's fine. I have I have uh, my my I have main docs. That was my 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 game doc. I have my data doc. So um, I remember most of these. So here we go. We have Bruce Willis mm-hmm. or. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, Chris, Christopher Lambert. So oh, come on, Bruce Willis or Christopher Lambert. Last ten movies. Oh God, I think Highlander is in one of Christopher Lambert's last ten movies. Um. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's it's got to be Bruce Willis. Come on, man, it's got to be Bruce Willis. Although I I think Glass, is, I I've heard tell that that's doing awful. Like that was apparently it got panned. Like the critics hated it. Um, and that last Die Hard that he did was kind of crap too. But uh, I'm gonna go with Bruce. I'm gonna go with Bruce Willis. All right, you're going Bruce Willis over Christopher Leia Bear now. I Christopher can't name Lambert. a Christopher Lambert movie other than Highlander. So. <laughs> Which is, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm sorry for that. But, all right, well, we're going to start with Christopher Lambert. Christopher Lambert has a tomato meter rating of 47.5. Not surprised. Not surprised. That's actually a little high. A little high. I, I know. I was a little surprised <laughs> okay. myself. Right, right, right. But I would be even more surprised to tell you that Bruce Willis's last ten movies have a combined average rating uh, score of twenty three point two. Shit! What? <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Right? Wow! Wow! Looks like Sam Jackson wins on that. <laughs> I think I have been uh, probably been missing a lot of Bruce Willis movies. Like you know, uh, so you know, Death Wish. I think that got. Yep. A bad rap. And I liked Death Wish. I thought Death Wish was cool. Oh, well, uh, let me make up for, for whatever reason, my game data getting um, compromised. Let me get tell you that uh, I have all these guys and I actually listed their movies. Okay, so if you want Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis has Glass, Death Wish, First Kill. That was 13%. Death Wish was 17%. Yeah, I didn't even see First What is First Kill? What the fuck is that? Okay, all right, straight to video. Right, go ahead. No idea. Right, Police Chief. He was the Police Chief. Uh, we got oh. Marauders. That was 21%. Now... Oh, I haven't heard any of these. Okay, go ahead. Extraction, 6%. Ooh. Rock the Casbah. What is 8%. these movies? What are 8%. these movies? Oh, oh, hold on. Uh, are you familiar with a little, little movie called Vice that he was in? A little movie called Vice? <sighs> the movie Vice got a scant 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. Jesus. All right. Okay. Next. Oh. So yeah. is, he's he's Bruce. I'll take any movie for the money. Uh, uh, Willis. Look, I'll do any Christmas movie. I guess is uh, is how he says, <laughs> says uh, that. Next one. Next. All right. Uh, so I got a big big donut for number three, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna move on to the two '80s juggernauts. Okay. Who, who do you think I mean when I say the two '80s juggernauts? Well, gotta be Schwarzenegger. And. 
Sylvester Stallone. There you go. Cool. See, oh, I almost want to give you a point just for being you. <laughs> so Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone. God, that is a tough one because Schwarzenegger jumped back in with both feet. And he's had some interesting roles. I just saw one that he did uh, that was it was kind of a straight-to-video one where it was uh, Kill Gunther or Get Gunther or something. I think it was called Kill Gunther. Uh, and it was it was interesting. Uh, then he did that he did that zombie type one or that apocalyptic disease one or something. His daughter gets sick and he hasn't been doing a whole lot of great stuff. But and then but then I want to say like um, Stallone. I'm gonna go with Stallone because he did he did a Rocky remake. Apparently, I think that was from what I heard that was pretty good. Not a remake, but you know, like a like another Rocky movie, and that was pretty good. Uh, he's been in the Expendables. Schwarzenegger's been in those, but I think he's gonna dilute a bunch of the the points that he would get for Expendables with some of these other turds that he's doing. So I'm gonna go with Sylvester Stallone. Okay. Um, well, let's start with Sylvester Stallone. Uh, Sylvester Stallone has a tomato rating for his last 10 movies of 40.5. Yeah, yeah, I mean, not bad for an old white guy. Yeah. yeah. Arnold da Schwarzenegger has a 51.2. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. I know. See, I thought you were on the right track. You're like, I'm going down this road. I'm going down this road. He's been this. These are all the reasons that he would be better. I'm going with I'm going with Stallone. <laughs> no, I th the reason why he wouldn't be better, just because uh, I th I thought a lot of these, because I, yeah, I, again, I'm not looking at the the ratings. I have no idea what these ratings are. So I don't know how the critics rated like some of these movies he did. They like like with the Bruce Willis movies, they could have given some of these Schwarzenegger movies like zero friggin' tomatoes for all I know. Right. 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 So whatever, because it's it's again, it's not how good a movie is. It's not how much the fans liked it. It's not how much money it made. It's how much the critics liked it. Mm -hmm. Who the hell that knows? All right, so donut for four. Yep. All right. Uh, our next two are going to be Chris Pratt or Robert the Downey Jr. Damn you. Okay, so Robert yeah. Downey Jr. has only been Star Iron Lord, Man. right? Star Lord versus. Uh, right, so hold on, Iron Man one, two, and three. Iron Man, uh, Avengers, one and two. Civil War. You're making one mistake. You are counting just the Marvel movies without knowing any movies he did in between, though. I know. I just want to. I'm not okay. making that mistake. I just don't know the movies in between. <laughs> It's not a mistake. Oh, I'm just picking the ones I know. Just, just good, good. Plan to what I know. Um, so those would all give him really high scores, except for Iron Man two and three. They could have actually brought it down, and then, but Chris Pratt. See, Chris Pratt. He's had the Jurassic, and I know the one Jurassic was was good, and the second one they kind of. Eh. Um, he's been doing a lot of indie, not indie stuff, but other stuff too. Fuck, oh, that's a good one, Mike. That's a good one. Uh, I'm gonna go with Robert, Robert Downey. You're going with Robert Downey as having a better tomato rating? Yes. All right. Well, let's start with Robert Downey. Oh, God okay, damn it. Robert Downey <laughs> Jr. I mean, listen, this guy, this guy. No, every time you start with that person, it's the wrong person. But go ahead. Are you sure? Well, we have to go back know. on that. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. It seems that way. So Robert Downey Jr. Uh. 74.8 percent nice okay. very nice. very respectable i mean yes and and might i say he has a couple of recent movies uh and then there's tropic thunder which i mean he gets a hundred percent just for that he, he wins just for that for tropic thunder oh okay Wait a minute, is Robert, that in the last 10 movies i uh i don't think so uh okay but tropic I, thunder I, that that shit was good i don't yeah it was it was so good <laughs> Um, sorry, now, but the funniest person in that movie was Tom Cruise, and I don't even like Tom Cruise, but he was fucking awesome in that. But go ahead, I can't argue with you on that. Seriously, I I really can't. Uh, I loved I loved his yeah. Uh, it it is it's isn't it funny to say it's anathema to see Tom Cruise 
in such a great part that is so not Tom Cruise. Yeah. Like, so anathema to Tom Cruise. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I guess you want to know what Chris Pratt's, uh, yeah, like. so, um, uh, Chris Pratt, uh, 68%. Yes. So yes, sir. My friend, you, uh, you, you had a much needed point, much needed yes. point there. Greek debt baby we're, in there. We're, you know, number five, right? Yep, okay. That was five. that. And you get yourself a point. Now it is yeah. three to five. Uh, you are going to need all three you're of these. Need, you're going to need these. All right, and I, I I want you. Oh shit! I, I thought this was out of ten. All right, well I'm gonna have to try even harder. Go ahead. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Fuck. I was out of ten. Okay, here we go. Uh, this one, this one was one of the originals, and I wish I could take it back, but uh, at least I didn't do the the two that I wanted. Um, <laughs> right, we have to hurry this up, man. We're we're running out of time okay. here. Okay. Okay. Um. Christopher Walken. Oh. Mm-hmm. I love me Christopher some Walken. Walken. Yeah. Or where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I need to where phone in go? Gogs. Hold on. <laughs> I know, right? Or uh I didn't do Samuel L. Jackson yet, right? No. All right. Or Samuel L. Jackson. Shit. Shit. Christopher Walken. Shit. Or Samuel L. Jackson. I gotta go with Samuel L. Jackson because I think Walken has done a couple of turds lately, and not to say that Jack Samuel hasn't hasn't done a few. Fuck, I'm just not as familiar with what what Walken's been doing lately. Um, and like he might not be he might not be doing a lot of movies. Shit. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with Mr. Jackson. All right, so you're going with Jackson over Walken. That's right. All right, let's start with uh, Walken. Fifty-one point five. Okay. Uh, respectable, but uh, nowhere near what your buddy, uh, motherfucking L. Jackson, is doing, which is fifty-six point seven. Now. Nice. I think it's just surprising though that he's fifty six point seven though. Aren't you like shocked? No, because like I said, he's like for example, he's in Glass, and I think Glass is getting torn up. Yeah, it's not um, doing well. Uh, and then, you know, and he does stuff like I don't know what the Hitman's Bodyguard got. I like that movie, but I could see the critics, you know, tearing it up. I, I don't know how fresh that was, but um, do you have it in front? No, oh, anyway, doesn't matter. Anyway, next one, next one. Okay. But you're uh, right. Let's see. We have uh, John Travolta mm -hmm. or Jason Momoa. I'm going to go Jason Momoa because John Travolta, he was doing good for a little while and then he poof, tanked. Yeah. And Jason Momoa is on fire. Have you, you talk about Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right, about, it just, uh, uh, tell me what what is on fire with him. Well, Aquaman was good, apparently. Okay, I mean that's fresh. I don't know how great. One out of ten. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go. Oh wait, hold on. Mm hmm. It's Justice League. Oh, here's Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> see? I know. I see. I think I'm thinking like Game of Thrones. He's awesome in that, and he's been yeah, doing. But a that's lot not. Of stuff. That doesn't count on this. Right. Right. But he's been doing a lot of stuff. That doesn't mean he's been doing mm -hmm. a lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I might change my mind. Are you trying to get me to change my mind? Are you trying to get me to mess up? Um John Tra oh, I'm 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 gonna give you equal equal points or equal God, uh but John Travolta, here. he's just been doing garbage. Like nothing. In a valley of violence. I'm just gonna tell you that got seventy six percent just in a valley of violence for John Travolta. Uh but he also had in his in his average the the forager is that what that oh. says i'll get you some berries that's a nine percent <laughs> no. so now jason no. momoa uh I'm, you know what? i'm sticking with jason momoa okay all right yeah I, I respect that jason momoa jason momoa is as we say in the business um 
Where is he? Where is he? Where are you, Jason? I lost him. There he is. 42.8. Ooh. 42.8 is Jason Momoa. Now, uh. would it shock you to know that John Travolta is also in the 40s percentile? He's in the 40th percentile. Question is, is he above or below? Come on, man. TikTok. What is he? 43.9, ah. John Travolta. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. How does he eke out Jason Momoa? Really? I I just think Jason Momoa hasn't been in enough. Like Jason Momoa has like a lot of like uh, low averages, whereas John Travolta has like highs, lows, highs, lows. <laughs> Pulls him in the middle, huh? Yeah. All right, come on, next. Okay. Um, That's a dirty zero. Zero. All right. Um, Chris Rock. Okay. Okay. Or where are you? Keanu Reeves. Damn it. Chris Rock hasn't been doing much, has he? But the last 10 movies. So. I'm going right. to Keanu Reeves. I'm going Keanu Reeves. I, and I, and I, that's a fucking crapshoot because I know he he's done several movies that I haven't seen. And I'm going to be biased because I love John Wick. And I don't even know how the critics care about John Wick or not. I, I think they like it. Uh <sighs> I'm going to go read counteries. Okay. Let's start with uh, Chris Rock. Chris Rock has a very respectable 62.3%. Damn, it's higher than I thought it would have been. Yeah, I know. Well, actually, I'm not super surprised. <sighs> not super surprised. He's a good actor. Right. Uh, your buddy, your buddy Keanu, Keanu, Keanu uh, right. has... Uh, a not so respectable forty four point nine. Oh, dude. Oh, all right. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck. Damn like, it. all you had to do was think of all right, Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Uh, three Matrix movies. One would be in the nineties. The other was would be in the toilet. So <laughs> that's three averages right there. You could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, next. All right. Um. Damn Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Damn it. So this last one, we're going to do a battle of the Chris's. All right. Okay. We're going to do Chris Hemsworth. Right. You know who Chris Hemsworth is? I do. I'm doing that. I know exactly who he is. All right. So Thor versus Captain America, Chris Evans. Fuck. So Chris Evans and, well, you know, the Captain America movies did better than the Thor movies. Right, even though Thor appears in some of those, but there's more Captain. Than well, Coke. don't forget, an actor only gets you know if he, an actor's been in a movie, he gets that percentage for that movie in his. Oh, I understand. No, no, I understand. Mm -hmm. What yeah. I'm saying is, is that if you take all the Marvel movies that the two of them have been in, then Chris Evans would beat um, Chris Hemsworth because the Captain America movie or Cap the all the shit that Captain America's in. All are nice, super fresh. Whereas the Thor, the Thor two and Thor three, well, Thor three was good. Thor two, eh, not so much. And Thor one wasn't as popular. So, uh, but then he did. He also did. Chris Hemsworth did uh, that movie I just watched. Um, the something bad Roy, at the El Royale, bad times at the El Royale, which was really good. I don't, don't know if the critics are gonna like it. I would imagine they would because it was a quirky, weird movie. It was the kind of movie that critics kind of go gaga over, and most people are kind of like, eh? and I thought it was good. Chris Hemsworth was in that, and he was he had a really good part. Um, it got a seventy four percent rating. In? Yeah, and you know, um, at the El Royale. but then he was in Ghostbusters, Ooh. and I know that got tore up. Um, by the people, but the critics actually gave it a 74%. Really? Hmm. I'm helping you out here, buddy. I know. You I'm going to go Chris Hemsworth then. I guess I'll go Chris Hemsworth. Oh, no, I don't want you to read my tea leaves. All right. Don't no, you go looking no, at my tea leaves. No, I'll go Chris Hemsworth because that was kind of hit or miss. But if, if, you know, like you said, critics, and like I said, Bad Times of the El Royale, I figured the critics would have liked that. It was, it was their, their kind of movie. Really surprised that they liked Ghostbusters. That thing was fucking unwatchable. But anyway, go. Ahead. I mean, for me, for me, I know people liked it. I'm no. not trying to shit on it. I'm just saying I didn't like it. Having you not done any uh, analysis on Chris Evans, we'll start with him. Okay. 
with a respectable 65.5. Right. I like uh, Chris Evans, by the way. I think he's a great oh, actor. Oh, sure. Um, you know, he was, uh, he, he's, he's, uh, what do you call it? Uh, flame guy, flamer, uh, flame, flamer. What like, do you... That wasn't so much so good. I, yeah. I liked it. Like the movie Sunshine, he was awesome in. Yeah, he was good in Sunshine. Too. Okay, and uh, we'll say that Chris Hemsworth is not in the 60th percentile. He is in the 50th percentile, the 56.9%. You set me up. <laughs> Bastard. What are you talking about? I was just giving you some numbers. <laughs> Fucker. All right. <laughs> Uh, so unfortunately, Pete himself beat you. <laughs> yes, I did worse than chance. <laughs> if I had just flipped a coin for every one of these, I probably would have done better. <laughs> I am my own worst enemy. That's a three. Uh, yeah, that's right. Himself five. Pete, you have uh, you had a respectable three, and uh, you know maybe next time you'll think a little less of yourself and give hey. yourself a better under. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. So, this isn't for me. This is for himself. <laughs> Congratulations, himself. I'll, hey, I'll see himself in the future. <laughs> yes. I'm going to kick him in the nuts, too. Give him a hug. <laughs> I think he cheated. I think he went to the future, and he looked at IMDb. Or no, he looked at Rotten Tomatoes. Fucker. No, I did it today. I didn't do it in the future. I did it in the past. <laughs> right. All right. Some bitch. All right. Well... Let's close this out. We we went uh, way over. We went man, way over. Did, Mike. Hey. did you look at the chat room at all? Because I'm I'm I have yeah. too many things yeah, going on. Chris Evans they, Okay, they've been, they've been they've been spitting it in there. All right. Well, how did well you guys? Even if as we're closing, you guys, how did you do against yourself? Yeah. Did you do better than Pete? <laughs> Will Conway. Let's see. Uh, you no, know, he was with me on a lot of these, so he he went down with my ship. I mean, there's a couple of things that he chose different than me. I let people will tally their votes and yeah, they'll tally, tally them. Votes, right. they'll, they'll tally themselves. Tally and the uh, you you read the closer, and uh, we'll we'll look at those uh, after the show, and we'll uh, we'll have fun. Cool. Tally your bananas. All right. Hey. Uh. Yeah. Let's let's. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say something. But I'm not gonna say something. Let's do this. Boing. Hey, you've just enjoyed another awesome episode of The Mythwits. Uh, if you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. And make sure to share your favorite episode on social media to help spread Mythwits love over the entire planet. Uh, Mythwits. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, tweet us at Mythwits and check out Mythwits.com. Sorry, I changed this ending a little bit. Uh, Mythwits is produced by Aetherforge.com. Uh, as part of the TSR Podcast Network, check out TSRPN.com as well for more cool stuff. Mythwits is a Creative Commons product. Like and share it in all the places. Just don't edit it. Don't sell it. And don't go against a Sicilian with it when death is on the line. Thanks, everybody, for listening. <laughs> Tell your friends to tune in. And until next week, Mike? Remember, there can be only one.